If you want to learn smart contract programming on Ethereum, there are a ton of resources. But what about Binance Smart Chain? There is almost nothing. I did some research and I found a place with a ton of tutorial on Binance Smart Chain for developers. Hey, if you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. I don't like to learn too many different blockchain because I think that Ethereum is the main blockchain for developers and it's going to stay that way. However, I have to acknowledge that DeFi is getting a lot of traction on Binance Smart Chain and as blockchain developers, we cannot ignore it. The main reason is lower transaction fees and for most DeFi users who are not big whales, it's very important. One big trend we have seen is people forking projects from Ethereum and deploying them on Binance Smart Chain. It's much cheaper than creating a protocol from scratch and it allows you to leverage the momentum on Binance Smart Chain. When I first learned Binance Smart Chain, I was really confused because sometimes I found results about Binance Smart Chain and other time about Binance Chain. So what's the deal here? First, you have Binance. Binance is a crypto exchange. It was launched in 2018 and what made it really unique is the lack of KYC because it only has crypto to crypto trading, which means you cannot buy crypto with fiat. You need to already have some crypto to trade on Binance. It quickly became the biggest crypto exchange even before Coinbase and it also became one of the fastest growing company ever in terms of profit. Binance saw the competition coming from decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and it decided to build its own blockchain. One limiting factor of blockchains was speed of execution. Traders want to be able to trade quickly. So Binance built a first blockchain called Binance Chain where you can transfer assets very fast. Although it works well, it's a very specialized blockchain where you can only transfer assets. Binance decided to go one step further and release another blockchain less optimized for speed but where you could do much more than just transferring assets. With this new blockchain, you can build smart contracts as powerful as on Ethereum. That's what we call the Binance Smart Chain. So whenever you're looking for tutorials about Binance Smart Chain, make sure there is the word Binance Smart Chain, not Binance Chain. These are two different things. So once I figured this out, I kept learning about Binance Smart Chain and I was very surprised to see that they use the same development tools as for Ethereum. The programming language for the smart contract is Solidity. They also use frameworks like OpenZipLink and Truffle. So it's not the blockchain, but it uses the same development tool as Ethereum. How is it possible? When I was looking in the documentation of Binance Smart Chain, the command to run the client was get, G-E-T-H. But it's weird because Geth is the name of the main client of Ethereum. So I went on GitHub to check out the code of the client of Binance Smart Chain and I realized it was a fork of Geth, the client of Ethereum. So in other words, Binance Smart Chain is a copy and paste of Ethereum. It's the same technology but deployed on a separate network. And when you understand this, it becomes super easy to find a ton of tutorial for Binance Smart Chain because all you have to do is to look for tutorials on Ethereum where you will find a lot more results. So you follow these tutorials and you just deploy your smart contract on Binance Smart Chain. It will work exactly the same way. There are still a few differences. First, for deployment, there is no equivalent for Infra on Binance Smart Chain. It's more simple. They run some public nodes that everybody can access. You can find the URL for mainnet in the documentation of Binance Smart Chain. For testnet on Ethereum, you have many, but on Binance Smart Chain, there is only one. And once again, you can find the URL to the testnet in a documentation. They also have a faucet where you can get some testnet BNB tokens for deployments. For wallets, you can use MetaMask like for Ethereum, but you have to add a new network for Binance Smart Chain. On Binance Smart Chain, to pay for transaction fees, you don't use Ether, but you use the native token BNB tokens. So don't be confused, even though we use the word BNB tokens and BNB is actually deployed as an ERC20 token on Ethereum, on Binance Smart Chain, BNB is the native currency and you manipulate it exactly like you would manipulate Ether on Ethereum. One thing is particularly tricky. In Solidity, the notation 1 Ether is a shorthand for 10 power 18. This represents a whole Ether. So in Binance Smart Chain smart contract, if you use notation 1 Ether, it actually means 1 BNB token. Another thing to keep in mind when you follow tutorials for Ethereum and try to apply them to Binance Smart Chain is that we don't have the same project deployed on Binance Smart Chain like Compound, which is on Ethereum only. However, if you do some research, you might find a fork deployed on Binance Smart Chain. For example, on Binance Smart Chain, we have a fork of Uniswap called PancakeSwap. 
So there are a few caveats, but overall you can reuse the vast majority of tutorials on Ethereum for Binance Smart Chain. Once you know this, the next step is to deploy your first smart contract on Binance Smart Chain. And for this, you can check out this video where we deploy an ERC20 token on Binance Smart Chain. I will see you there.